Rebecca, you mentioned proofreading as a team with multiple people doing the same job. Are there any best practices for how to make sure you collaborate well? Yes, there are. Let's talk about those. The first step, of course, is going to be making sure that the document is ready to be proofread. So you'll have to communicate clearly with the author and make sure they're not going to have anything else to add. They're not going to cut anything. It's time for you really to go after those lower order concerns like grammar. Right. Um, the next thing is going to be communicating with the team about your expectations, when things will be done, where, and the fact that you want it done on paper. You also want to make sure that everyone on your team is familiar with the style conventions of your organization. Maybe your organization has a printed style guide and you'd want to make sure that team members have that at hand. You want to make sure that someone is in charge of recording what's being done. Someone is making the decision about who's going to go through the document first, who's second, who's third. That's a lot of planning. <laughs> It really is, but again, uh, remember some documents are quite high stakes and we've all seen documents with errors and this is what you're trying to avoid. Also, even though people will be proofreading from paper, at some point, of course, the document has to be corrected in its electronic version. So you wanna make absolutely sure that all members of the team are using the same software tools for proofreading and that they know how to use them. It sounds like what you need to do is make sure everyone's on the same page. So you get your team, make sure the document's ready to be proofread, and then make sure everyone has the same tools, the same guidelines, the same standards, and knows who's doing what, and then you're ready to go. Right.